Hey everyone, here's an update on my truck again. And I did some work underneath here. Well, I actually took it in, had a shop do some work on it, but I got a used, um, the differential was just all bad and inside there was, so the housing part was actually worn a little bit, so it would have, even if I just put new parts and everything, it would have worn them out again, so I just got a used one. Besides, there's a lot of parts that in here that aren't the best, so I thought, well, I'll just go kind of the cheaper route and ha you know, pretty less than half the price, so hopefully this lasts a while. And then I just, um, the cover was a little bit rusty, so or it just looked a little more dingy. It's not bad. It's sealed really well. But I spray painted it with some Rust-Oleum, some stuff that's made for it, so um, I kind of used some rust inhibitor and scraped it and the best I could. And So it doesn't look the best, but it looks better than it was, and I have no more grinding sounds. So now with the engine, as far as the engine goes, um, it's running okay, but I noticed it's been really hot like this, and of idling a little rough. And I think um, even at high speeds, it doesn't matter what speed I'm going, and so I think maybe there's problem with the injectors. So what I did is I cleaned it up. As you can see, this front part here looks a lot nicer. I used just some of this that engine grease remover, just a little bit, just enough to just clean it off. And, some of the parts here were really dusty and gross looking and you know it's not the best in this but but I did some and I took this apart and I sprayed some get a flashlight in there and I sprayed some cleaner in there the throttle body and carburetor injector cleaner and um, it's not focusing really well but it was pretty dirty in there I had cleaned it once before, but I don't think I did the best job, and this time I actually got in there with a little brush and a little cloth and wiped it off, and I didn't even spray that much. It's already pretty dry, I mean, I pretty much just sprayed a little bit, because I don't want to plug the thing in. Um, so that's that, and I know um, from watching some other videos and reading online, there's a bunch of things that could go wrong with these injectors and there's some parts that you can replace I think this and stuff like that and, um, that you could replace that first that would be cheap otherwise um, there's some parts in here I think otherwise there's um, the fuel pumps are apparently known to go on these um, these 4.3 or any, I guess, GM vehicles, and I guess it's no secret, but I don't know. I mean, it started, and it, it seems to be when it's at a certain temperature. If I let it, you know, if I drive around for a while and then I let it sit for like a half an hour and I come back out and start it again, it kind of wants to die as soon as I start it. And sometimes if I give it a little gas, it revs up and then it's fine. Um, so I'm not really sure what that is and like I said it's kind of rough idling and I did a whole bunch of stuff on here there's new spark plugs um, new wires the new O2 sensor the fuel filter and the lines they look pretty new they look like they were they were replaced pretty recently um, so, uh, there's a bunch of little stuff that I did with that, and so far, there's a few more things that I'm thinking about doing, but until then, I don't know if I said from my last video I replaced this, I put bypass AC compressor on, so I no longer have AC, unfortunately, and it's the old, it has to be capped off, because it's the old um, R12, and... So at some point I might convert that, but I'd want to buy a brand new and I wouldn't want to get a used one compressor at least. I could probably get, oh, maybe like 150 bucks I'm thinking for a compressor. 
and because it's pretty hot it gets pretty hot around here <laughs> so it would be nice to have AC since especially since it comes with it I don't know if anyone has suggestions on that but otherwise right now I just rolled down on the windows it's good enough so let me start it up quit yammering and we'll see how it sounds now I'm gonna see the how much spray I'm getting carburetor in there. some black soot from the tailpipe. Uh, I didn't drive it for like, I don't know, a couple weeks or something, and then when I, oh, it looks like a little bit's coming out. regular gas in there for a while and when I started getting low I, I decided that's when I noticed it wasn't running the best so I filled it up with oh, I'll shut it off because it's running fine now and I filled it up with premium gas with no ethanol in it and that seemed to really help so maybe my gas was just a little crappy the last time I filled up but I'm definitely gonna have to be putting premium gas I think in this vehicle for a while at least or something and that seems to help but um, we'll see how it runs like I said when it gets a little warmer and I keep going maybe that helped when I cleaned it out but and I cleaned up parts I made sure everything was plugged in here and so and tight you know there's some parts I was making sure they're all tight and clean and looking in good shape a just you know intermediate car problems I guess <laughs> it doesn't do it when you want it to for the video but uh, well that's my update and like I said if I run into any more problems I'll make another video hopefully I'll have my camera ready with me then <laughs> see you later no, oh, I forgot to say that while I was cleaning the injectors out, I um, took this part and I. Uh, oh, that's my text. And I, I had a little bit of rust on there, so I took some. Uh, what's it called? Let's see. I got it on this one. This is here. Strips rusty metal to clean paintable surface. So I just used that real quick because it wasn't horrible. And, and uh, just around this top part and uh, clean the inside out and clean this out a little bit. This was pretty rusty. I cleaned that out a little bit and I didn't spray it on the inside. I spray painted it, but I cleaned it and I used um, this Rust-Oleum metallic engine enamel and that's what I used on the differential cover as well so gas and oil resistance and high heat so it's not quite as shiny as I thought maybe I didn't do the best job but it's sparkly so and I just repaid this really quick 
just to get off because it was a little bit of uh, um, brown spots from a little bit of rust. So I just really did this little part. And I think it looks a lot better. So hopefully people think I have a brand new engine just because it looks clean. <laughs> okay, all stock. That's the way I like it.